this is busted. Th that guy in the in the comments who told me that this sword was busted with control, bro, you were not kidding. This is busted. So without control v two, basically just get kind of a little bit like a standard M one, I suppose. Now it's kind of similar to Longivus and the Acro series of weapons where you kind of teleport on your fourth M1 and deal a little damage. Not really that much. It's not really that impressive. It's just kind of okay. But um, we have the actual moves now. So Echo Strike, it's more of an AOE attack. It deals decent damage and it hits a lot of times. And it definitely drains a lot of dodges from the opponent. Then we have Biohazard Bolt. By the way, this has some of the most impressive range in the game. That reaches all the way over there. That's, that's some of the best range you can get on a sword. I seriously, some of the best range you can get on a sword, like really. I was like, let's go into the air and turn off zone control. Also, it has a good hitbox too. Really, really good hitbox. So, basically, as long as they're in the room, you basically have like a ton of range. Like, dude, that, that hit this guy from all the way over here. Literally from all the way over here, this hit this guy. Even from the edge of the room, this hit this guy. And on top of that, you get these pretty decent ranged M1s that actually do really good DPS. Like, you're actually getting, like, some really good DPS out of this. And by the way, I'm not using any passives or accessories. I took all of that off. What you're seeing here is actually, like, it's damage completely unaffected. It's not even upgraded yet, and it's performing this well. It's, but this is a ridiculously good sword. They put this a little higher. Look at that. I hit him all the way from up here. Like, where are you going in PvP? Like, seriously. And Biohazard Bolt, already a decent attack, all of a sudden gets a teleport whenever you use it. And it has a huge range on top of that. So, basically, if you want to, you could use Biohazard Bolt as a blink. Like, a slightly worse version of blink. But it's a lot of range. Like, you get a really good teleport. So, not only do you get an attack, but you get a teleport on top of control already giving you, like, a teleport on its own. So, this is this weapon's busted. Like, let me let me show you guys, like, the, the grinding potential for this weapon. The potential this weapon has is absolutely off the charts. So, let's say I want to, like, grind these guys. Because here's the thing. There's no fruit or sword in the game that can get every single enemy here in one swoop. But... With Kyoru V2, I can gather up all of these guys with one hit. Literally, that's all I have to do. One hit to gather all of these guys up and hit all of them at once. Like, that's literally it. Just like that, I have all of them gathered up. And I can literally just sit here, spam my M1s, pick them off. Dude, like... This is literally the ultimate grinding fruit. It's great for PvP. It's great for grinding. Heck, even on even on Sea Beast or Hydras, this is good too because you have pretty decent DPS with this. So if you go fight a Hydra, you could just do this and just literally just spam Hydra with this. Like, bro, this sword is nuts. This is this is one of the best swords in the game for sure, if not the best sword. Like, man. It is reliant on control, but even even by itself, without control, it's still decent. It doesn't take away the fact that it has huge range, too. So even on its own, it's still a decent sword. Uh, this is a really, really good sword. If I'm going to put this on a tier list, so let's say we're putting this on a tier list without control V2. So if it's without control V2, I would give it like... I would give it like a B tier without control V2. If we're talking about control V2 though, this gets an S easily. Like very, very easily. It, like this is just nuts. Like look, teleport, teleport. I got a double teleport right there. Be a crazy, crazy sword. This is like one of the best swords I've ever used. I massively recommend it. It's worth killing the all the bosses in the in third C from the C events, and it's well worth paying 55 million for this this is really freaking good